The city of Rome, and one of the reasons everyone loves to come to the city of Rome, is that the past is, is so present in Rome, that the past is touchable. And But one of the things I think that is not always so evident when you go to the Colosseum or you go to the Forum, you see the past all laid out for you. But actually, what Rome t shows us is the past in layers, so that we see an early past and a slightly later past and a slightly later past all layered on top of one another, kind of like an onion. Um, and as archaeologists, what we do is we crack open the onion and we peel back the layers. And the first layers we peel back are the most recent ones. And as we get down into the onion, we get to the lowest ones. And where we are right here on the Chilean Hill um, in the Church of San Giovanni and Paolo, we actually get to literally walk through all these layers. So when we walk down these stairs, we will walk into a second century AD rich, posh house. And as we go up, we will go up through the centuries and we will come up just on top of our head is where the actual floor of the fifth century AD Basilica is. So we go through three centuries of time and we get to see all these levels as they're superimposed on one another and as they interact with each other. Because the other thing you ha can see in Rome is how people responded to their own past. And what is amazing about the Church of San Giovanni and Paolo is you see Christians actually responding to their own past, maybe inventing that past, reverencing that past. So this church is deliberately and very carefully and at great expense built on top of a series of Roman houses. These houses were visited even at the time the church was built, all through the Middle Ages. And we can see this in the archaeological record. We can actually see the past being carefully curated, almost like a, a, a an ancient archaeological park and this only in Rome can you get this 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 these la these layers of the past We've always known that Christianity grew up in families, and you read the letters of Paul, and the letters of Paul are directed to family members who gathered around them um, small Christian groups. What is interesting, and what we know now, is how long this continued, even after Christianity became a legal religion. So I would say, really, for a century, um, after Constantine, there is still this emphasis on the family group that um, neighborhood churches probably still are meeting in houses, that basilicas uh, that are used for um, daily use, if you like, or Sunday use, they grew up very slowly, even in Rome. So it really takes about almost a century for real Christian building to get going within the city. I'm not talking about burial. That that happens pretty fast, but within the city itself, it's a long process. And the home really remains, I would argue, um, the, the center of Christianity for much longer than we had previously thought.